morning everybody so it's uh saturday morning and the job that i'm up to right now is i'm mothering calf onto a cow uh, this is something i have to do occasionally so um, most years i'll have to do one or two cows uh, so for whatever reason you have a calf that its mother can't feed it its primary ones would be if the mother dies or the mother uh, has a set of twins and so in this case it's a set of twins so the calf closer to me the 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 red calf is this cow's uh, natural born offspring and then the little black calf in behind is um, is a twin calf that was born to another cow and the other cows just rejected it just never never paid it any attention at all so we're mothering on um, I could rear the calf artificially myself so you know buy a bag of milk powder or a couple of bags of milk powder and, and feed it um, in the long run that will take a lot more time and artificially reared calves are never as never as well grown or as healthy as a calf reared on a cow so a cow can rear well this this cow here has got the milk production she could probably rear four calves quite happily um, but we'll we'll stick with just the two now uh, the mothering one process is pretty is pretty straightforward so I always try and pick a cow that is close to calving as possible um, you know so the, the shorter the time she's had her own calf, the easier it is to sort of trick her. Um, make sure her calf has had a good feed of colostrum, um, because we don't want to disadvantage her calf, you know, we want to make sure it's properly fed so it's got that good immune system kicked in. And then we separate her calf off her, and preferably we try and get her at a distance where she can't, uh, she can't smell it through the fence or anything like that. And we keep her calf penned up nice and close to the foster calf because what we want is we want we want it to be as hard as possible for the cow to tell the two calves apart um, so when we do that we you know we, we pen the two calves together so they're touching they'll sleep next to each other all that sort of stuff and we'll put them back together with the cow a couple of times a day so what that does is it means that the cow is really anxious to feed the calf uh, and so she'll put up with the other calf latching on because she's so motivated to feed her own calf um, because there's sort of two parts to the equation. We've got to get the calf motivated to drink and we've got to get the cow motivated to feed. Um, and so what we're trying to do is, is both, by the calf being a little bit hungry, it doesn't muck around, it latches on and both calves will latch on at the same time because they're both hungry. Uh, and the cow, she's so anxious to feed her own calf, she'll feed anything, she'll stand still for anything. Now, after a wee while after, well, some cows, it, it, it varies. So this cow here, I've been at this for a couple of days and it'll probably be another couple of days. So it'll be four or five days of this before she's willing to accept both calves as her own. Um, I've got another cow out in the paddock who, um, with no prompting whatsoever, will feed most of the calves in the paddock at a pinch. So this little girl here, this cow, um, she's, a, she's a second calver. So she calved last year and reared a good calf. She calved this year, so I knew she had a reasonable udder on her. Um, she's uh, it's quite a light-framed cow. She's got a little bit of jersey in her. Um, so she's a three-quarter Hereford quarter jersey, but she's still quite light-framed. She shows a, shows the jersey a lot more than, than I'd like, but she reared a really good calf. She's got a good udder, so she got to stay. Um, and, uh, and it's good to have a few cows around like that because... Some of the Herefords don't have a massive amount of milk, so we can't be latching extra calves onto them. I know it's time to sort of knock off uh, when the calves start acting like this, so they sort of have a little suck and then they stand there and have a bit of a think. Um, and then they'll have another little suck occasionally. Um, so what's happened is the calves are full and the cow's oxytocin has kind of run out, so she's no longer releasing milk. Um, and so it's time to, time to separate them again until later in the day. Uh, the other thing that sort of little triggers that tell me that the calf's had a good feed is I can actually visibly see, you know, like if I stand up and look down over the calf's back, I can see that it's got a real full belly. Uh, and the other thing is the calves will often do a poop. So, um, you know, the pressure inside their stomach just gets up a bit and, and it forces a bit out. Uh, so, 63 has had.